Say hi. Hi. <laughs> I love you. Okay, so a couple changes here. As you can tell, um, you might compare it to, if you will, the balance beam video. Um, if you look at the porch in the balance beam video, you'll see that the boards are very gray. And we have since stripped them. And now they are down to their raw natural wood color. Right now it is just beginning to rain, so there's a few spots on it. But we've stripped the porch down to its uh, natural wood color. Because that gray, we thought it was just old wood, um, healthy but old wood, but it was actually algae and moss and mold. It was making the boards very slick and very dangerous. So we spent about a day and a half uh, stripping the boards uh, with some very strong um, acid strippers. Um, and... Uh, so they definitely look brand new, like new boards now. And the wood grain shows up beautifully. So it'll be exciting to put a fresh sealer with a very light honey tint on them so that their, their grain continues to show. But we're gonna do Thompson deck sealer. Very nice heavy winterized sealer on them, but as a hint of honey color to it. And there's a little one with her Halloween treat basket ready for next week. Uh, so, oh, are your coins missing? Didn't you put them in your pocket? Right. Right? Oh, uh, daddy. Can you blow me a kiss? Slow kisses. <laughs> anyway. Uh, next change is you'll see all the leaves on the ground, and but our tree hasn't lost them yet, so it looks like um, our tree, I'm not quite sure what it is, it looks like it might be a type of alder, um, will be losing its leaves later on in the season. But we've got some tree leaves from the neighbor trees. Um, but here's the biggest change. Compare this video to the one of her where she says grandma and slides down the slide and I commented about her playing in the pool ten dollar plastic pool versus her playset. Check out the new stain that Dawn spent two and a half days putting on this thing. It's a solid opaque stain so it does not the wood does not show through it which I know sounds kind of contradictory why not just paint it versus stain it but I guess there's protective quality differences but um so it has some beautiful color to it um i really think it looks rich it looks professional it looks finished there's the swing we added so she swings on it um she really loves it and i really think that's that seal coat that stain will really help protect it through the winter but the color of it just really makes it look finished. Um, it lo really, really looks nice. So now I'm gonna walk you up to the garage. Don said something about me showing you the crack in the floor in the garage. But I guess we're gonna show you the crack in the floor in the garage. Mom. Yes, baby. Hi. Oh, you can see through it. Is it like glasses? No. Oh, cute. What do you got there? Show me that. Is that like glasses too? Look, this is like glasses. Huh? Oh, wow. That's cool. No. Okay, here's the crack in the floor in the garage. So. Not on the floor, not my ass. <laughs> yeah. I'm not showing your ass, honey. I'm showing the garage. So. But we'll just uh, fill it in with sand at some point and then probably cement over it and then after that um, just uh, use some of that um, epoxy, that garage epoxy sealer that has the little sprinkles, you know, you epoxy over it and then put the little decorative sprinkles over the top of everything so it look pretty. And this is the rest of the garage. I'll start here. So here's the garage door. You come in. It's a dresser we're still working on. There's our brand new lawnmower. Very nice. Oh, no, no. 
There's our our wedding arbor in the back. We still need to put it together. It's our garage. Uh huh. Yeah. There's our our garage. See the beams are up there. Um, we're talking about maybe winterizing the garage just so it's a little warmer in here in case we want to do some projects during the winter. So just throwing up some insulation in between those beams. But we don't have to go as far as drywall, just do the insulation. We do have some pegboard up to hang up some of our tools. We have a couple drawers, some storage back there. Um, we got a couple of her swimming stuff hanging up. There's her little wagon. She's got some boards in there she plays with. She likes to stack those. Got a, be uh, a, sand, a bag of sand there that actually helps us know when to stop. We just let our tires hit that gently and we know when to stop the car from hitting the back of the, you know, like hitting the stuff that we have stored there. Um, let's see, there's more stuff. That little hole cut right there. I guess it was meant for a window and they just sighted right over it. Um, there's our ladder and a gas can, more of that stuff. So that's our garage. And that's up above our garage. So that actually has potential if I want if we wanted to uh, just put a little shelf. Yep, there's Don making some noise. <laughs> so uh, if we wanted to put a shelf up there for, you know, some storage, it, like right now we're storing a couple, uh, where are those? Oh, there's, there's some downspouts, spare downspouts. So we're storing a little stuff up above as well. We got some a board, it looks like a spare door. It looks pretty bad shape and a couple uh, pieces of uh, lattice. So we got, we got some spare stuff, but they left us some nice hooks and stuff, so... We got hooks and uh, hooks of plenty in this garage, so uh, it's definitely a usable garage as is. So there's Ainsley sweeping the sweeping the uh, yeah, patio. The fire, yeah, we were considering uh, uh, putting our wedding arbor up over the fire pit without the canopy on it for the winter time, and possibly even planting some um, like vining plants um, at the base of each um, leg of it that will eventually grow up and over the arbor uh, so that it just acts as a really pretty trellis area to sit under. So it may be a, a nice area you know to, to use that for. You know, just to let vines grow over the top of that. We don't even, don't even need the, the canvas on top. That was Don hanging the ladder up. Oh, that fits very nicely right there. Yes, it does. Kind of. <laughs> okay. But, um, yeah, if we were thinking of installing that around, above the fireplace, or above the fire pit. That is your granddaughter calling for help. She says she needs help getting down from the table. You didn't need me help getting up. Why do you need help getting down? You show the shirt? No! Show us the shirt. Show us the shirt. Show Grandma your shirt. What's your shirt say? What's that say? Wait, Ainsley, show Grandma your shirt. Grandma's reason to brag. <laughs> what you got me to think? <laughs> okay. You're wet. All right, let's go inside. It's cold out. Mommy's got bare feet. I'm freezing. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Okay. Quick, 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 quick. But doesn't that fort just look so pretty? I love that color on it. It looks so nice. Okay, video's ending. Love you guys. See you next video.